What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about the top five reasons. I guess I should say my top five reasons I work for the railroad. Or maybe I should say the top five reasons I think you should work for the railroad. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to give you five reasons why I like the railroad. How about that? But before we jump into this, you know, if you're looking to work for the railroad or you're just curious about the railroad, interested in the railroad, rail fan, it doesn't matter what you are. Uh, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. We're growing quickly. This channel is completely dedicated to the new guys and girls who's looking to become who's looking to work in the rail industry. You know, the, the more this channel has grown over the past couple of years, or really over the past year, we have a lot of guys and girls that actually have went to school and now they are conductors. So this stuff is really fresh on their mind. And so if you have any questions about school or interviews, I would, I would highly recommend you put those in the comments. Not only for me to see them, but also for the guys that are on the channel, the guys and girls that are on the channel <clears throat> that could help answer any questions that you may have. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So um, we're going to go in order, right, from five to number one. And, and number five would be variety. <clears throat> you never know, especially on the extra, extra board, if you're going to be working in the yard, you're going to be working a local, you're going to be on the road, you're going to be going and getting trains and bring them to the yard and repeat over and over. You just never knew what you were going to do. And I've never been, I know this is kind of cliche because of the NS, NS video, recruiting video says this, uh, you know, I'm not a nine to five type of guy, even though right now I'm working shift work. Like I work with new core from six to six, whether that be 6 a.m. to p.m. or 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. But I'm there for a completely different reason. But when I was with NS, loved the variety between jobs that you could choose from or not really choose from. But the, you just never knew what you were going to do, you, you know, and it was always, you know, it was always exciting to see who your engineer was. Was you going to catch a, one of the engineers you liked on the extra board? And. And uh, yeah, so if so if you don't like if you don't like the same old same old every day, um, you'll definitely like this part about the railroad for sure. And number and the fourth thing to me is is I took tremendous pride in, in working for the railroad because, you know, if you've never been on the rails, you don't realize how much freight is actually moving, right? So I remember going to from Birmingham down to Meridian one night, and I promise, guys, we probably passed at least ten trains coming back north coming to Birmingham, and they were all mixed freight trains. And yeah, I think, so most of these trains are anywhere between six, or I'd say five and 8,000 feet long. And, you know, they're loaded full of crap. You don't know what they're loaded full of. You know, goods for, for us, <clears throat> materials for businesses to make goods, whatever the case may be. And it was always pretty cool, you know, in the back of my mind. I took I took pride in doing what I did just because you knew you are actually making a difference. Uh, as minuscule as it may be, but you actually are making a difference. You know, if you're if you're moving a longer heavy train, you're doing something. And three, this kind of goes without saying, but I'm gonna put all three of these in in one. Uh, retirement pay insurance, right? So retirement's great. You know, we don't pay into Social Security, and of course, pay. Um, if you're watching this and you haven't seen any videos about how much conductors pay, there's one right here I just posted three days ago. Uh, of course, insurance and insurance great. Um, you know, I mean, I think if I remember correctly, which I think has probably gone up by now, it was around like two ninety something a month for family insurance, and that could be you, your spouse, and nine kids. It's still going to say the same, or it could be you, your spouse, and one kid. But yeah, retirement pay insurance. That's, I mean, it has to be said. Um, you know, especially when you become an engineer and you start making over a hundred, hundred thousand dollars a year. You know, one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. So get down here to. Number two, I'm just going to, you know, to me, this is the coolest job I've ever had. Um, you know, I remember, you know, either leaving Memphis or uh, coming back through Birmingham or leaving Birmingham. You always see kids out there on the track, you know, taking pictures. And it ain't like they, they idolize me. They, you know, they're there for the train, but it's always cool. You know, like it's just a cool job, you know, throw the window out and, you know, wave or whatever and take pictures and, um, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just a cool job. Like you, you know, you're getting to do something that not a lot of people have done, and then not to mention you're doing something that, you know, you're, you I mean, you're right on history, right? So I mean, the rail's been around forever. It's been around for a super long time, and and you're, it's still here today, and you know, based on your your family tree, uh, you know, like my great 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 granddad was like a super big guy on the railroad. <clears throat> and it's just it's just a cool job like you know riding on a locomotive anything to do with rail i'm super passionate about and uh it's just it's just cool the best thing and the number one thing i loved most about working for the railroad uh is definitely the people i worked with 
right? So, you know, you hear these companies talk about we're a family. Uh, Nucor talks about this a lot. You know, we're a family. You know, we're family. And, you know, I'm not going to say Nucor isn't family. I think I think they're getting there. But with NS, um, with the engineer that you're with or the switchman that you work with every day or the engineer that you work with every day on your local uh uh, you know, y'all, you guys turn into family. You look out for each other. Uh, the camaraderie between you and the guys and the girls that you work with—it's just like a bond, like no other. And that is what makes this job so awesome. I'm still friends with all most of all the people that I have worked with, uh, whether it be in Birmingham or in Florence. I still talk to them often. And <clears throat> that was just that—that that was the number one best thing about that job. And, you know, and, I, and I've actually just had a meeting today with our plant manager, and I was telling them, I was telling him the same thing I'm saying now. I was fortunate enough for working in an environment to where we actually were family, and that, that was it. Now, unfortunately, it's us versus them at the railroad. You know, it's you guys on the ground versus management. At least that's how it was. I haven't been out there recently, so I don't know. it. Maybe things have changed, but when I was there, uh, you know, the whole term hire to fire is true, you know. If if you did anything any little thing wrong, they were gonna they were gonna try and write you up. They're gonna try and fire you. Um, hopefully things have changed, but you know who knows. I'll I'll let you know if I find out. That's gonna do it for this short video. I just figured I would put in my top five reasons why I liked the railroad, and and maybe you can relate to this a little bit, and and um you know maybe this will kind of you know answer maybe a few questions that you have like what is so great about the railroad to begin with, and you know what you can kind of look forward to. If you guys have any questions, feel free. To, to leave you know a uh, comment on the thing down below and, and you know and hopefully everybody you know if anybody sees it and that's been through whatever you're asking for can answer for you but i'll give you the best answer i can i stay active on youtube every single day uh shoot me a message on facebook if you have to instagram it doesn't matter just whatever you need to do to get in talk to me you can now other than that like i said feel free to subscribe hit the like button only for the youtube algorithm all that good stuff is great we're growing super, super fast. It seems like just a few videos ago, I was talking about hitting 1,600. And here we are at 1,660, about to hit 1,700. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this community. And uh, you know, I look forward to seeing you guys in a couple of days. And um, other than that, y'all be safe. And I'll see y'all.